Good morning. Today I'm going to Utah for a little artist retreat and I'm leaving in like two to three hours. So let's pack. It's gonna be like 20 degrees colder in Utah, so I've gotta pack all the sweaters. Feel like falling deeper, cold on ice, not no more We have to make sure to pack Donnie's little backpack with his little sock in there. Trains keep running, hearts keep breaking. I keep writing songs about things that are out of mind. Dude, that's freaking nuts. For our sponsor. Thank you Best Buy for sponsoring this video and for gifting me this Wacom One. I have a video unboxing this and I will show it now. <laughs> wow, this is very light. Literally just... So I've actually been using Wacom tablets since I was a very, 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 very young artist. And I think it's great for those that are either starting out to be a creative or they are a professional in the field. When I was applying to a lot of colleges, I really wanted to take things seriously. So my dad actually gifted me my first ever Wacom tablet. I think it makes a great gift because it shows that you actually believe in that young artist and like tell them that they're good enough to make art their career. And even throughout college, I was still using the same tablet that I got in high school and it carried along with me all the way till I was a working professional and even in my art schools we would often have Wacom Cintiqs everywhere. I think these tablets are great for people that want to express their creativity. You can use it for drawing, photo editing, vector illustrations, etc. So this is going to be a quick tour of the Wacom tablet. This is a 13.3 inch LCD screen and it is HD resolution, which is 1920 by 1080. On top, you have this place where you can put your pen. I really like this pen because it's very, very lightweight. And usually when I draw with really heavy tools or if I write with really heavy tools, my hand starts cramping. There's also a button where you can customize the shortcut for it. One of the benefits I feel like the Wacom tablet has is that it actually feels like you're drawing on paper. It's a really nice feeling. Um, it feels very natural to go from drawing on paper to drawing on this tablet. So on the back, there's a kickstand which you can use to place on the table so that you're drawing at an angle and you're not kind of just like craning your neck all the way forward. Um, and behind the kickstand, this is really cool, there's extra pen tips on the back in case you make this one dull and you want to replace it with a new one. The cable port is on top, the power button is on the right side of the tablet, and that's pretty much it. I love how basic and like simple this is. And even for the wires, this is really simple as well. Like you literally just need the pen, the tablet, and this cord. And you can use it on your laptop, on your computer, anywhere you go. I actually brought this to Utah and it was really easy to set up. And it's a great way for doing professional digital work on the go. You can shop this product on Best Buy by using my link in the description. They have in-store pickup and fast delivery. Check them out. Thank you again, Best Buy, for sponsoring this video. We're in Utah. Would you like to say hello? Hi. We're in Utah. We're in Utah. I'm going to do a what's in my bag really fast of all the art materials that I brought. Let me just take out all the life stuff. So I brought my favorite sketchbook. This is my Nina Cosmer sketchbook. 
Um, I like it because it's really good for like markers, color pencils, pencil. So it's good for on the go drawing. I brought my MacBook and a Wacom One tablet. I also brought my trusty pouch I got from Taiwan with my Yohan Studio patch. And inside, I have spare batteries, a pencil sharpener that I got from the Getty. I brought three marker colors, um, pink, yellow, and orange. These are from Odeer. They're double-sided. One has a fine tip and one has a brush tip. I brought a billion Prismacolor colors. Pretty much all the Prismacolors that I own. Lots of Apple Cheeks colors, I would say. And then some pens. I brought a Pigma FB pen. Cover my face. A Pentel sign pen, which is just like a round tip marker. And this zebra brush pen, felt tip. And I think that's it. I tried to pack light for this trip because we're only gonna be here for a few days. And I'm just trying to make art. I'm putting on my luggage there. Sunlight as the sea. 
We kind of had a very bizarre Saturday in Utah. It was going all well and stuff. In the morning, the boys left to go snowboarding and the girls just stayed at home watching Netflix. I drew a lot and it was really cozy. I decided to step out of the cabin to try to play in the ice. I obviously don't know how snow works because I was sliding around all over the place and whenever I stepped on it, my entire foot would just like sink into the snow. I actually stepped in one spot that made me fall through because it was just empty underneath and I just got stuck in snow for about three minutes and I went back inside because I got scared. We immediately got a call from the guys and they said that they were stuck in the snow or their car was stuck in the snow for about two hours now and they did not have any signal at all. And so that's when we decided to call AAA. They tried to call AAA. But okay, if their car is stuck in the in the snow, we can't our cars are not gonna be able to make it. Oh yeah. They're not. We got stuck for like two hours. What? The girls decided to go out and get pizza so that when the guys came back, they could just eat and we don't have to worry about food. A few hours pass and it was starting to get dark. It was around 4 or 5 p.m. and apparently AAA was nowhere in sight and we haven't heard from them because they lost signal again. So right now we're on a rescue mission to go pick up the boys because they have to get like a snow plow in order to get their car out of the snow and that's gonna come at 6, which means it's gonna be like pitch black. After an hour of no phone service for us or the guys, we were just driving around blindly, not really knowing where they would come out from. And then we finally found some signal at the top of the mountain, and then we located them and drove towards them. Okay, now we're just waiting to see if we can see Lewis's jacket or something. He's wearing like a bright orange jacket. So we hollered their names at the abyss for like the past 10 minutes and heard no reply and we finally got in contact with them yes as the sun is setting and getting darker yeah it's getting really dark these little they are literally like those dots right there do you see those dots that's them uh and then we found them and they look like three tiny little ants walking towards us because they're like all the way inside the woods the boys you're stupid it was super relieving and we were finally like sure that they're okay. We're waiting for a snowplow to come and rescue them. Um, and then we head back to my car and I try to start it. Dude, it's not. And it was too cold and my car stalled and it had to be jump started. It's a random car. Hey, how's it going? You guys okay to Can you I jump start our battery? But luckily enough, we had a truck pass by us and they helped us jumpstart our car. Uh, our car got started, everyone got to warm up, and we brought them some beef jerky. Pretty good combo. We're going that emergency food. Mm-hmm. Even though we're not the emergency people. <laughs> and then we just waited for a different road assist to come save them. There were still two of our friends inside of the car waiting for them to come. And... Uh, once the roadside assist people came, apparently they have a channel with a million YouTube subscribers and they were like filming the whole thing. It was a very odd experience. Uh, but at the end, we saved the car. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> and this whole process was like from 10 a.m. all the way to like 7, 8, 9 p.m. It was like late, it was dark outside. So yeah, that's how we spent the rest of our Saturday. Not what we expected to happen, but I'm so glad that everyone is safe and nothing ended up happening to any of them. We packed for the next day and went home. <sighs> Good morning. Today is Valentine's Day and I wanted to put little hearts on my cheeks. So I tried my very best uh, how to use lipstick because I don't have any other uh, eyeshadow colors. So the plan for today, I want to go back to the antique store because I'm doing an antique trade with Lee. And then on the way back, I'm gonna pick up some strawberries and some chocolate and I'm gonna make some chocolate covered strawberries. I low key make this for myself because I wanna eat chocolate covered strawberries, but 
the excuse is that I want to give it to people. So I'm gonna do that. I could have opened pre-orders for Honey the Love Bunny on Valentine's Day and it would have made so much sense. But I did not think about that. Squish, 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 squish. I also study computer science too, so it's interesting how you um, grew They want to take me oh, away. Throw me in the backseat, rainy day. Made me promise I wouldn't say. If it was up to me, you know I would have stayed. I try to make new friends so I can pretend I can fall in love again Your picture on my bridge so I can relive I can fall in love again I've been getting Another day goes by where I don't say shit I think I'm losing now I've been flying high in my spaceship Another sad song that's so basic I think I'm losing The goods have been gotten. I spent so much time in there. I think I probably spent like an hour and a half or two hours in there. It's really cool how when you vintage shop, even if you're like there a few days ago or a week ago, you go there and then you just notice a lot more things that you haven't seen the previous time just because there's so many things in there. And I got some goodies. I couldn't find the original thing I wanted to get Lee, but I hope she likes the stuff I get her. Oh, what's not at all? Oh. Maybe because you're in Discord. Life is hard. Really? to Apple Cheeks cooking segment. If I'm gonna have to squat the whole time, I'm gonna have really, really strong thighs. I've already prepared my strawberries, so they're washed. I wiped off all excess water to make sure it doesn't um, separate between the strawberry and the chocolate. And then I have a bowl of dark chocolate. I'm gonna try to just melt it in the microwave and use that. In the past, I remember, I think I used the stove to heat it up. I'm, I'm guessing it's about the same. My chocolate is nice and melted, as you can see. And before it can cool down, I'm gonna just dip it in. Ta-da!
I was kind of impatient, so I took the extras out first, and I'm gonna try like a little design on them. I kind of want to do little faces. I, uh, my trial did not turn out the way I imagined it to be, so uh, let's hope the actual strawberries are gonna look a lot better than this. This one is, this one is me, and this one is you. I totally forgot to show you what I got from the antique mall. If your name is Leah Lexin, if you have short hair, a toady as a dog, and a blue chicken as a bird, please stop watching this part. Skip forward this amount of time uh, because I don't want you to know what I got you. So there were, it was like a very hard decision. I was looking throughout the entire antique stores and if you know antique stores, they're like crazy big and there's so many different sections and like independent um, vintage sellers within those markets. I saw this and I had to get it for her. Like it's a goose with boots and a cowboy hat. Have you seen anything as cool? It's just so cute. I'm thinking she would like this. I'm thinking she would enjoy this. Um, the next thing I got, I thought it would be nice to get something that is usable. So I got her this mug. Isn't it cute? It has a rooster on it and this really cool checker pattern. And it reminds me of Lee. Next, I got her a soup bowl. It has like these little quails and bird on it. She can drink all the soups she wants. And lastly, I got this little heart frames. Good morning. Today, I want to update my Patreon exclusive shop post on Patreon because it looks very bland and it's very outdated. Thinking of like maybe doing a cute banner for it and then updating the password and maybe I can also include the banner on the actual secret shop. I think it would benefit from a makeover. Very simple postcard, so you can use it as a postcard, or you can just frame if you want. People use them for different things. I personally use mine as a postcard. So I sketched up so this big. little piece right here, and I kind of wanted to make it like an Apple Dream Realm little shop that does not like actually exist. So that's why I did like little squiggly bushes. But yeah, this is what I am aiming for. So I'm gonna digitize this right now. Um, I'm thinking of keeping this part white so it kind of like blends into the page and it just looks like it's floating on top of the text. Date. I already finished my little illustration. It's a lot later in the day, but I did a lot of things that I feel like will make my patrons' lives a lot easier going forward. Let me show you what I did. Okay, so the first thing I did is on my Patreon page, I always have a pinned 
post of my monthly benefits and this was for the month of February and under here I have a quick links section where I added a post for my secret shop, the secret shop password, an exclusive videos list, and a digital downloads thing and you can only open these links if you're subscribed to that specific Patreon tier and I just think that in itself I'm patting myself on the back. I feel like I did a great job doing this. Um, and then I finished this illustration for my secret shop. It turned out exactly how I wanted it to look, like a floating illustration. Um, and yeah, that's where my password is. And I also used the same one for my banner for my secret shop. And my housemate told me that this looked like a Maple Story illustration. So I wrote on the first line, I wrote, Hi, I'm Straub. I have a collection of little prints and stickers that I've collected from Apple Cheeks' leftovers. Feel free to take a look and trade with me with some coins! So I made him a character. He is the store owner of my secret shop. I'm very proud of the work I've done today. Whenever I finish little things like this that I don't have to do but I know will make me feel very complete on the inside. It makes me feel so good because I love organization, I love customization, and this just makes me feel like a tiny bit more put together um, and I don't have to worry about it for the next like year or so until I want to re-update everything. This is going to be the end of another vlog. Thank you so much for being here and thank you for being so cool. Shout out to my lovely patrons for being so supportive and so chill. Um, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Let me show you something really pretty, okay? Do you they see that beautiful cast away. of light coming in? Throw me in the backseat rainy day Made me promise I wouldn't say